What's up everybody, this is Joshua Casper. Welcome to another Ableton Live video tutorial. Today I'm gonna to show you how to get the MIDI information from the VST called Liquid Music uh, out of the VST and into whatever VST you want. Liquid Music, if you don't know, is a music theory VST tool. There is a synth inside of it, but I don't recommend it. It's just a simple synth that sounds really cheesy and you would never want it inside of your projects. So what you'd wanna do is either export the MIDI from the standalone version and import it into your DAW or do something like this in your DAW, the thing that I'm about to show you right now inside of Live, which is I'm gonna put the Liquid Music VST on this first MIDI channel, and then I'm going to put a whatever VST I want to generate the sound from the MIDI information from Liquid Music, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna show you what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put Liquid Music on this channel, and this is the interface, this is the VST interface. I can see it's quite large. It takes up the whole screen on my computer anyway. But what we could do is just kind of put uh, draw in something here and it's really cool because I've just drawn something in but it's keeping it all in in the key that I've designated here so if I wanted to go D minor all of these notes will now be in D minor um, there's just some presets we can take and these are all sounding really cool but if I come into live and hit the play button no music is coming out. So what I need to do is send this MIDI information into another MIDI track that has the VST that I want to generate the sound. Oh, and before I do that, there is the option to play through the internal MIDI, which sounds like this. So as you can hear, that's not, <laughs> probably not what you wanna do. So you wanna make sure that's not checked, and then you just wanna put a second VST I onto a channel. I'm just going to use the grand piano device here. Great. And I'm going to come down and from the top drop down where it says all ins, I'm going to choose one liquid music 64. That's the 64 bit version, obviously. And the one is just the corresponding channel number that live gives each one of the channels. So one liquid music. And then from here, I'm going to go liquid music 64. And you just want to make sure that this MIDI channel is armed. And if I play it now, So that's how it's done. And you can close out of that once it's done. And if you want to come in and do some more work inside of the VST, it's going to stay open as like its own plugin down here. So you're going to look for your dock on a Mac or this toolbar down here on a Windows. And that's where you're going to be able to just to change some stuff. So if I want to go maybe keys, epic and change it and see what that sounds like now. But that's how you get the, the, the system routed so you can get some sound coming out of this great plugin. If you don't know much about music theory, or you do, but you just, just kind of want uh, some idea starters, I highly recommend this program because it's just, look at this. Look what's happening right now. It's just so crazy. And um, it's... It just sounds so good. There will be many more tutorials on this plugin because it's pretty big. It's pretty sophisticated, and not only that, but I really like it. So anyway, I hope that helped, and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.